Namaste my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the ultimate backpacking guide and welcome to the last episode oh my goodness in today's episode I really wanted to speak about my own personal travel story why I went traveling what I learned and all these kind of things and I thought it would be just nice to share this with you guys to end this series all the things that I've spoken about in this guide have been things that I learned along the way but I think me sharing a personal story with you it's nice for you to get to know me a little bit more so first of all I'm gonna start off with why why I wanted to go traveling. The reason I wanted to go traveling, I think, was because I'm from a really small town in the UK and I've been lucky enough for my parents to have taken me on holiday nearly every year of my childhood life. But when I reached about 17, they kind of just said, right, you're making your own money now. It's time for you to have your own holiday. And I never really did. I never really went away. I think I went to Amsterdam like twice and the only time I went away was somewhere in the UK. Where my parents took me was always like France or Spain. I mean, Yorker, like those kind of areas. I think the furthest we went out was Turkey and Cyprus. So I'd never really ventured further than Turkey or Cyprus. And I just really wanted to explore. I felt like there was more to life than just the town that I lived in. I just wanted to see the world. I wanted to experience cultures. I wanted to step out my comfort zone and just explore not only the world, but a part of myself that I wouldn't have explored before. Because it's hard sometimes when you come from a small town to really express yourself and really understand understand what you like and what you don't like and I think stepping out of your comfort zone basically really helps you figure that out it helps you understand what you like in life what you don't like in life what your hobbies are how you want to treat people and how you want to respect people and how you want people to respect you and how you treat the world and how you just view life truthfully you know the cliche says I've gone to find myself traveling it's so true you genuinely find yourself honest to god you find yourself you find parts of yourself that I don't think you'd be able to find if you stayed. Well, you would find it, but it would just take a lot longer, you know? There's parts of me that I think I never would have experienced or never would have understood if I hadn't have gone that far away from home. And you know what? Even though it was really, really weird at first to find out that I was going to go traveling alone, it's an absolute blessing because I wouldn't have experienced half the things that I'd experienced if I'd gone with that other person. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't have had a good time with them, but I genuinely think that half of the stuff that I did I wouldn't have done if I was with them. I don't think I would have done free diving if I went with them. I don't think that I would have met half the people that I would have met if I had gone with him. I do sometimes get people ask me did I feel lonely as well and yeah don't get me wrong there was times where I did feel quite alone but a lot of the time I felt that when I was in Australia. When I was in Asia a lot of the time when you're in Asia you just cannot get away from people. <laughs> I'm not saying that I wanted to but when you're staying in hostels you're bound to meet people. Asia is just a whole different game but when I got to Australia I felt very alone actually but I put myself in a situation where I was genuinely alone I was on my own for a long period of time but I'm so glad I did that and I did that for a reason because I knew that there was something that I needed to figure out within myself and I felt like being completely alone having no distractions from anybody else just looking after myself I just knew that that was going to help me dig up some buried emotions that were hidden deep within me so yeah I purposely gave myself this opportunity to be completely alone in a van traveling Australia down the east coast for like three weeks. I mean I did feel lonely at times but only because I really forced myself to feel alone because I do feel like as human beings we're so used to being around people and so conditioned to be around loads of people all the time and I see it in people now these days that they don't want to be on their own they have to be around people all the time and I feel like that is not very healthy I think sorry if this offends anybody but genuinely I've learned this because of my experience and I felt like having that attachment to things actually can cause discomfort because when that attachment leaves or goes elsewhere then it hurts and you feel like you want to hold on and hold on but holding on is not a good thing you need to let go and I think that learning to detach from people and things is actually good for your health and your well-being and to learn that being in your own company is actually beautiful and to enjoy doing things on your own gives you so much confidence and so much independence that you're never going to feel alone if you give yourself that chance to actually be on your own for a period of time that's how I feel 
anyway. <laughs> I am a bit of an introvert and I definitely learned that about myself when I was traveling. I'm quite a social person. I am a bit of a social butterfly and I have quite a few friends like all over the place. And I think that's come from actually being, I'm very caring. I love my friends so much and I just wanna do whatever I can for them. I'm empathic and compassionate and caring person. And I just wanna make people happy. And that's the problem. I am a bit of a people pleaser, but I actually realized that I was expending a lot of my energy out there and I wasn't using that energy to care for myself and look after myself. I was just worrying about everyone else instead of me. We need to focus on ourselves. We need to go into ourselves to take care of ourselves and that is another reason like why i wanted to be on my own quite a lot of the time in australia because i needed to learn this i needed to step out of that comfort zone and be on my own and figure out who i was yeah in that time i realized i was very introverted and that's not a bad thing people who meet me in person never think that i'm an introvert they always think that i'm extroverted and i think that i can be one of the other but since i've come home even my mother said to me you like to spend a lot more time on your own now than you did before and I realised that actually I do but I like that and I think that's because before I left I'd always feel awkward I'd feel awkward maybe going for a walk on my own like it wouldn't be as enjoyable like now I absolutely love going out on my own I love going for a walk, venturing to new places alone, I would go travelling alone again it's just one of these things that I think we need to learn to be on our own so we need to learn to love ourselves we need to learn to be comfortable in our own company in our own space because you are going to be with you for the rest of your life so why feel uncomfortable comfortable in that if you're going to be with yourself for the rest of your life then you need to feel comfortable in your skin and in your body so do the work and trust me traveling helped me so much unravel that uncomfortable feeling within myself that feeling of i want someone there all the time and it's no i need this space you know i need to recharge my batteries and be comfortable in my own skin so yeah that's really what i learned when i was traveling i learned that a hell of a lot and i learned obviously loads of things about new cultures i learned a lot about other people i think that that's still unfolding in my life now since coming home i feel like i'm the same person but i've grown and i've evolved things don't bother me half as much as they used to like the things i used to get annoyed about are pointless now and like poverty as well and the way we live it makes me feel like we can be really ungrateful because some of the places i've been to and the people that i've met are so grateful and so happy and so content with their lives and they don't have half as much as we do wow this is going into a whole different ball game <laughs> so i want to talk about what would i change so i would probably change the way I travelled in a way of when I first got to Thailand I wouldn't have jumped from place to place so quickly because when I first got out there I was like right two three nights in this place and then move to the next place and then two three nights there and then move to the next place and then I just kept doing that and then I was just jumping and jumping and I, I wasn't staying really for a long time with the people that I actually could have stayed a lot longer with or gone where they were going I just had this plan in my head that I want to do this so I'm going to do it which is great at the same time but I would have taken my time I wouldn't have rushed so much I would have spent a lot longer in Asia, would have spent a lot longer in Thailand, a lot longer in Vietnam. I wouldn't have rushed so quickly at the beginning. If I was to change it, I would have done a lot more homestays because it means that you get to experience that place for a lot longer. You get to meet some really cool people. And lastly, 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 would I go again? And the answer is hell yeah, baby, I would go again. But I probably wouldn't go for as long as I went last time. I think that I went for a year and three months and it was amazing in but in my mind i'm getting a bit older now i'm 27 so there's a lot of things that i want to do in my life and i feel like the travel can come in the future if i want to do it again don't get me wrong there's still a list of places that i really want to visit and i know i will still visit but i've got other things that i need to get done first and that is starting my own business so it's in process since coming home from traveling i have realized that reality is that we need to work to survive because unfortunately this world is run by money so when I came home, I literally started from scratch. It was like everything. It was like the frigging carpet was like ripped underneath me and I was just placed at home and I was like, oh my God, I have no money. I have no job. I have no car. I need to get my life back on track. So it felt like I'd gone from having everything, living my dream to back to how I was when I was like 18. I basically had to start my life over again. And this whole year of 2020, I've been trying to do that. And I say trying, I have been doing that. I came home, I got a job. It was wasn't the best paid job but it got me through and then now I've got another job which is basically making my life a lot more comfortable and I've been studying a course 
for over a year now and now is the perfect time for me to continue to do that course because this course is basically going to help me become my own boss and work for myself and so the future is if I work for myself and I'm making my own income from my own home my own laptop then I don't need to worry about where I go in the world I can go traveling if I want to and I can take my work with me so this is the plan this is the idea this is the big future for me and I always wanted that but I needed to get the traveling out my system first because I think that it was something that I just needed to do and now that I've done that and now that I've got my life back on track again I can now put my motivation into building my future long term so that I can create my dream life really and it's going to take some time but I'm willing to put the effort in and these passions and these dreams that I want to be putting into my business has all come from me going traveling and figuring out who I am figuring out what I want in life and understanding what I want my future to look like and if I hadn't have gone traveling I don't think that I would have been so clear on this so it's a beautiful thing to do it's a beautiful journey to take and I recommend it for absolutely anybody you really got to put yourself out there step out of your comfort zone be courageous you have it in you and you can say that I'm brave for going on my own and a lot of people have said that to me but it's not bravery it's just learning to believe in yourself that you can do and can follow your dreams the only thing that's holding you back from your dreams is you so if you can clear that fog and believe in yourself you can achieve anything you can quite literally manifest anything that you want anything that you desire because you are the only person that's holding yourself back so please if you have a dream to travel please do it because it will change your life it will literally open your mind up to so many things it will open the doors up to loads of different avenues and adventures and people and just beauty and just seeing how amazing and how beautiful this world is and how different each and every single one of us are but how beautiful we all are and how connected we all are honestly i recommend it for anybody please do it please do it i'm rooting for you anyway my loves lastly i want to say thank you so much for watching this ultimate backpacking guide if you've seen every single episode i'm honestly so unbelievably grateful because it's taken a lot of time and energy to make this for you guys but it's been something that i've been needing to have done for a long time because all of these tips and tricks that i've had in my mind i'm just glad i've got it out there now and i really hope it helps you decide that you want to go save anything i hope it helps you just get out there and do it you know do what i've done you won't regret it trust me i just really really hope that you enjoyed it and i appreciate each and every single one of you thank you so much for this continuously growing community all the new people that have come to this channel and that is watching this video right now hello and thank you for coming subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell button there's lots more things to come in 2021 i have so many exciting things coming 2021 is going to be the year of success abundance love light everything so yeah thank you so much my loves take care of yourselves wherever you are in the world and